So if you walk in the field house at UWF, you see uh, just an enormous amount of activity. This is the back area where the, all the teams from Best Robotics are working on their robots in between competition events. You have the referees. There's the competition zone. You can see over here that we've got, uh, they're running one and then the other. So right now this one is sitting. There are all the students who are involved. And here you have a whole other round of students who are getting ready to do their thing. And the idea of this is they're going to travel a robot right there. Oh, not like that one though. <laughs> like this one. It's going to travel up and down this current, it's called. And it's going to grab pieces of trash out of these little gyres and then either put them in the box, like there, or scoop them onto the floor. They have scientists, they have researchers, they have to get information off of these and collaborate with other team members. And you can see that there are four teams at a time, blue, red, green, and yellow. And you have everybody, middle school and high school, represented here. Here's the teams that are on deck, waiting for their next time to go and compete. As I said, it's middle and high schoolers. And if they do well here, they move on to Auburn University where they get to go in, I think it's about a month for the finals. And this is an all day event. And this is only a portion of it because across the street, they've got uh, marketing teams and presentations and research and a whole like, this is only 10% of the competition. And you can see that the variety of robots and designs that they came up with to solve this problem are pretty interesting. How do you move down the system? How do you solve the problem of locomotion and then grabbing and gripping and then counterweights? Like you can see the pennies down underneath so that you don't wiggle back and forth when you're operating because it's on a spring, the current system is on a spring. You can see some similarities in design from team to team. But uh, this is kid-led robotics design. This is Ransom Middle School. Northwest Florida Robots, that's the homeschool group. This is, I think this is Catholic High School. So you just have a, uh, everybody has done it differently. Here's Gulf Breeze High. And again, you can see the challenge here. How do you get something that rides down the current and then grabs and scoops the things off of the gyre? So that is your 2018 Best Robotics Competition. Just a rough walkthrough of what all these teams are doing here today. All right, so here's what I was talking about. You can see the tilt is a challenge because it's on springs, so getting the counterweighting properly. That one is tilting really kind of the wrong way on this side because they have to operate, they don't know which side they're gonna have to be on. But it looks as if Omaha Beach is almost completely cleared that gyre. There are only two pieces of garbage remaining in the lower gyre. And they also get graded on their spirit, how much spirit their group With has. With a minute and 25 seconds remaining on the clock. This is the final, final round of the robotics competition. So they have 
to get these ducks. And they're telling other people what number duck they've got. Pensacola Catholic has been dominating all day in the gray shirt. And they're collecting. Woodlawn Beach all day has been dominating in the gyre clearing with this flapper design and they're they're communicating to each other what numbers they have on their ducks. You go. Woodlawn Beach is shoveling everything out. That's what they've been doing all day long. They've got a, they've got a turtle now. That's a multiplier. Seconds to go. Catholic almost has theirs emptied. So now what's going to happen is the teams who won the robotics and the teams who won the other best competition, they have to figure out the top six out of all of those.
Yes. Yes, you are.